podcast to It's Sarah, Our Stitching Kingdom. It is Thursday, what day is it? September 26th, 2019. It's the day before my mom's birthday. So happy birthday, mom. Love you. Um, super excited. Um, Want to welcome everybody back. Um, new subscribers, returning subscribers. Thank you so much for being here. Um, and if you're a new subscriber, just tell me in the comments below where you came from, like who who shouted you out or who shouted me out so I can go and, and tell them thank you. So I just love growing this little community. Um, this is a, a, a channel about cross stitch. I talk about crown and cross stitch. I've got a few other crafts that I don't do as often. Um, and then some family stuff that's going on because we've, we're really busy families. So um, just welcome, welcome back. Um, hope you guys are having a great week. Happy fall. So excited about it being fall. It's like my favorite time of year. Spring and fall are my favorites. Um, we are expected to get some snow here in Utah um, this weekend. My parents are, are going up to Sun Valley and <laughs> they're going to be getting lots of snow. Sorry, floss too, but she knows there. Um, just really quick, we have... I don't have my countdown. Where's my countdown at? Twenty one days till StitchCon twenty nineteen. Or not StitchCon, Stitch West. So sorry. StitchCon is going it, I'm going to that too, so I think that's why I'm so super excited. Um, but twenty one days until Stitch West twenty nineteen in Farmington, Utah. So much fun. I'm so excited. It's gonna be amazing. Um, Deb and Kath have worked super duper hard and it's just so, it's going to be so amazing to see what they've put together and all the things that they have for us. And um, they've got a couple of trips to, on Friday, they've got some trips to Shepherd's Bush planned. On Saturday, um, Craft Center of Fighting Stitchery, they have some trips planned up there. So it'll be a really good experience for the, the people that are from out of town or even from northern Utah or southern Utah or central Utah that don't get to those places very often. So it'll be super exciting. So we'll get into some stitching. Um, last week I was working on my violet stocking for my Pygmy Puff extra credit for magical stitches. And this is, and it's from Blackbird Designs. Let me make sure. My, I've lost a floss color and I'm not sure where it is, but it's okay. So I'm working on this one right here which is the violet stocking. You can see it better right back there. And this is just a cute little, it's got three, three little stockings in it. And this is on 32 count um, H saffron. And so I've started on the violets. Ooh, that light's actually kind of helping that there. So here's the bottom of the stocking. It says violets right there. I started this on for um, the task for what would you smell for Amortentia, the love potion, and mine is violets. It's like my favorite smell in the world. And it's like real violets, not like nasty violets, <laughs> not like artificial. But um, yeah, so that's where I am. I'm really, really close to finishing that. So um, I got a few more things to do, just little, some little guys to do. And so I gonna fin FFO it. I've never done a stocking before so that'll be an experience but I also finished did an FFO of my very first drum on the International Floss Tube Finishers Weekend so I was super proud of myself but I will show that in a second. Um, actually let's just show it now. So I did my FFO. I did a couple. Um, I started some things and then I was just like this one I put it in a tart and wasn't a fan of that, so I actually found that I've got some styrofoam blocks, so I'm gonna take it off of, it's just, you know, kind of ghetto, ghetto finish on the back, iron it out, it's got some lovely cat hair in it, and then put it in a cube finish, because I found, well, one I found at the Dollar Tree, these nice there, two by nine, or 2.9 by 3.9 by 3.9, so basically three by four, which isn't bad um, because like some of those cubes you see they're like super huge and I don't want them but I also forgot that I had a little bag of and these ones are shorter or the same size but they are thinner on the side there if you can see that so I'm gonna 
do some cube finishes on that. So super excited. Sorry about the noise. I'm not going to take it out. But yeah, I got these little tart pans that are fun. But the Ada I'm using is way too stiff. So I need a softer Ada or something like that. So that will be coming to going to somebody else later. So did not do what I liked. And then I finished a couple more of these. That's in a really fun, both of these are in a col coloris color. So love it. But yeah, going to finish those a little bit differently. And then here is my drum. And we'll start over here. But this is from the, the first part of the Sleepy Hollow um, Sal by Tiny Modernist. Cheryl McKinnon is a genius. So this is on 40 count. Um, Oaken by Picture This Plus using one strand. Um, so the ghosties are glow in the dark, the clouds are glow in the dark, the um, stars are a petite treasure braid, and ugh, Link is my homeboy, Heather. She was genius and switched out his cape to be a twall. And I was like, if I hadn't finished it, I would have totally borrowed that idea. But the rest of the colors are all called for. Little mansion right there. There's a few mistakes like in the stitching, but I'm not gonna worry about it. So it turned out really cute. I love this little this little crow with the hat. He's so dapper. And the pumpkins. And it says, on all Hallows Eve, beware of black cats and bloodthirsty bats. And then here's the top. And then there's the bottom. It's a nice sparkly, ooh, there we go. Nice sparkly fabric. Got it in a fat quarter from Joann's. But yeah, I'm super proud of that. And I used, <laughs> I was telling Michelle about it. I was like, I, cause I don't have a circle cutter or a compass or anything like that. And then I was like, yes you do. <laughs> it's sitting right there. It's about yay so big. And it's electric. And I can do it on my phone. It's my Cricut. So I was just like, ho ho. So I cut out some squares or some circles of all different sizes. Um, I needed one just a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller. And so I just kind of fudged it with it. But um, yeah, so I texted Michelle. He's like, oh, I am a genius. And she's like, yes, you are. <laughs> so, but yeah, I'll link this pattern below. But yeah, I'm super, I've never done a drum before. And there's my, my, my seam down the side, which is not bad, if I say so myself. So I have many more drum finishes ahead, so super excited about that. Um, but that's what I've got for, for FFOs, well, an FFO, and then a semi-FFO, and then, you know, finishes. So um, that's what I did there, and I think, and then I did Stiach on Saturday and Sunday when it was released. Oh, I have stuff that is going to fall out of the project bag. And Stiach is a mystery style. We've guessed it's probably something to do with the Golden Girls because, I mean, duh. Hashtag obviously duh. Um, but I'm thinking it's going to be different faces. So we can choose what grouping of people that we want for our thank you for being a friend. So I'm super, it'll be super cool on that. So there's Stiach and we got the hair. There's a couple of mistakes that I've made and I'm just like, you know what? I'm, I'm not going to worry about it. It's not going to make, I'm like off a stitch somewhere and I don't want to take it out and recount it, but it's really cool to see, to see how they do it. I mean, they just, to, to be able to just pick and choose and see just to, for us to be able to see it and and it build, it's really cool. So, um, this week for Magical Stitches, it was Quidditch tryouts. And so we had to stitch um, 500 stitches on our first choice, 400 on our second choice, and 200 on the other choices, um, our third and fourth choices. And then there was a bonus to stitch 200 stitches with somebody on either the same project or the same designer or you know something similar and you had to say why are they the same and so I just took mine and linked the when I 
when I threw a who's working on this, you know, this is what I'm working on, who's going to work on it, I just took that, I saved that, uh, that chat thread, or that, that comment thread, and put it in my thing. So hopefully that works, and I'll just type, you know, what it is. So, but I got a lot, so for Creeper, I worked on the second part. I got my, I got my chair back. Do you see? That's a different, different one. We got this Ikea chair like, oh, I don't know, a few years ago. And then my husband was working, he works from home two days a week. And um, the chair he was sitting in was one of our old dining room chairs. It was creaky. It was not good for his back. And I was like, you know what? Just take this one. I'll, I'm not in my craft room that often. You are, you know, at the computer. You need a better chair. And <laughs> we've been looking for another chair for him. But, you know, he's... I love my husband. He's like, I'm not gonna spend money on myself. And I was like, you need to spend money on yourself. It just, I know you want, don't want to, but you need to. I love him. And we were at the, we, we call it the fall off of the back of the truck store because literally a lot of these products are just like, they buy them from damaged trucks or things like that. But they've got some pretty good deals every once in a while. You just have to be really careful on like the food and stuff, but they have um, cookies that um, there's a distributor in that same area that they make extra cookies and sell them to the distributor basically. So, um, we got, we were picking up a whole bunch of cookies for Alice's baptism on, on Saturday and we were just like, well, let's look at these. Oh, look, office chairs. And you know, the edge, of the, the arm was a little beat up, but he sat in it and he was just like, Ooh, and $15. I was like, you're, you're buying it. I, I made him buy it. I was like, you're buying it. And so I was like, I get my chair back. It swivels. It's so comfortable. I'm so excited. So thank you, honey, for going and getting a chair. Anyway, so I need to get this in a better, I need to get, I should have gotten another Q-snap when I was there yesterday. But, um, I'm working on, since I finished part one, I'm going to be working on part two that says spooks I'll gather for a jamboree dancing with a fiendish glee and so I worked on this one for the keeper because the keeper guards the the scoring rings and so we needed to work on something with ring shapes the letter O um something that was open so I could have worked just on the border more of this I've got a kitty cat here um but I decided I wanted to get some of the words done so spooks and then jamboree so there's lots of o's in here but also the border has a you know it's not a huge circle but you know something could get through that and this one is on 36 count i want to say let's look let us investigate to go over i'm still doing over or one thread over two just because it is a smaller count, but I'm liking the coverage so far. It is 36 counts Feldspar, which I love Feldspar. I have a um, castle walls from Ink Circles. I have started on Feldspar and it's just such a pretty color. It's a nice gray with, you know, it's kind of an old fashioned color. Sorry, hold please. And then, so my needle minders from Imperfectly Perfect Heather uh, imperfectly perfect needle binders so and then but I've seen um, I think Abby top notch stitcher has these there's a lot of them so you can just google them and they're there so but yeah this is the bottom and so I'm just gonna do the words and then I'll start going this way more I or I did get a new q-snap haha <laughs> but I got enough to make a 6 by 11 q-snap so I don't have to have it in the hoop so it'll just be the whole the whole thing so super excited about that and that is Sleepy Hollow Part 2 by Tiny Modernist. Um, part 4 comes out next, you know, in a couple weeks, or in a, like, next week. <laughs> so, um, but I did 203 stitches on that. I did, let's see here. And then for the Seeker, I that was my number one, because I love Seekers. Seekers, you know, they are... They get beat up a lot, but they are a good, good um, person to have on the team. So, if you know this bag, this is my Lady of the Flag. This is a reprint, but I was lucky enough to get her in a um, in a raffle. So, actually, one two, two copies. My mom got has the other one. 
but um yeah so got her and so I worked on this and I did 500 stitches on this and of those 500 stitches also counted towards my enchanted stitches which is um, when the curse breaks up or wait is broken what would wake up well people obviously and I know it's not creative but you know I wanted to get it done so she actually got a lot of stitches this weekend um, she got 500 for seeker and then I had to work on, um, and then for the chaser, which is my number, it was my number three, I want to say. Keeper was like three or four, chaser was three or four. Those were not my favorite positions. But for, um, so 500 could be anywhere. And so I did a lot of the, the flag over here. These, the blue is kind of crazy. I did that for an Enchanted Stitches challenge. To work in blue and it's just like oh man but yeah it's the um the shadows which is really cool because i've got some of the red right here the white there's white that goes in between this um but it just it's so pretty and then um so i got 500 stitches done for the seeker and then for the chaser which is my um not my first or second choice um i had to because the gryffindor team their chasers are all historically female. We had to work on a piece with a female, Lady of the Flag. She is a lady of the flag. And so we had to work on her. So I worked, did 200 stitches right here um, on her dress. And this actually goes down into the second, like the bottom half. So this is the top half of the pattern. This is the bottom half of the pattern. So I paused my stitching on the flag part to stitch down here. So, and then actually right here, this little guy right here, that's the end of the flag on that. And it goes up this way. So it's really, really cool. Um, this is fabric, fabric flare. Yeah, so I got uh, a broken curse. I got part of that one done. Um, I have lots more to do on my enchanted stitches this week, but I got them able to do those. So, um, and then in the bonus, there were a few people stitching on a Mirabilia or Lady of the Flag. I know Sammy J was stitching on it. Um, she pulled it out to stitch on it. So, um, got that, my 200, so I've got that linked below. So, lots of fun. Um, so that's Lady of the Flag. Love her. I love working on her. She is, she is so fun. Put you back in there. So, that was done. And then, so the last thing I'm working on for magical stitches homework is the beater position which I want seeker and beater um we were actually uh a few years ago oh it was probably like 15 years ago we were harry potter uh we were the windborne wasps we were a quidditch team and i was a beater and so or no i was the seeker because i had a snitch and i did like a black eye because i had been beat up it was really fun um but i also liked the beater um position as well because that's super fun and where is my, there it is. And so I was working on, you had to work on something with a B. And so I chose Beater, or uh, not Beater. I chose Broomstick Fuel by Hands On Design. This is part of the Scary Apothecary series. And um, this is how far I got. Because I don't have ye old gold. So I went on to threads entwined she had it she was having like major site issues I felt so bad for her. um there's a coupon I think on her Instagram she's got a coupon code for 30% off like thank you 30 I think um I'll link her Instagram below but it's Trish from threads entwined she's amazing um so I hopped on there ordered that um she didn't have all the colors so I just hopped on a one, th one two three stitch because apparently I needed four colors to you know some extra colors I did not read my my directions properly about what was needed for the whole series so because I have them all so that's where I got on broomstick fuel and then I needed still needed like 200 stitches so I started bat ball which I think is so fun and I'm gonna work on this more today but this is my measly little start it's uh, the shadow of the A And that's in sugared violet so it's like i was looking at i was like oh well i need old gold for that one and i need or actually no this one doesn't need old gold this one needs thinly gold and so i was just like 
I was so irritated. I was like, I swear I had it. I know I've got old colts somewhere. It's somewhere. I have a need to go over to my parents' house and grab a, um, what do you call it? It's a, an organizer that I had when I was younger. And, um, I'm going to use that for my floss, like, especially my fancy floss, my DMC, I have all bobbinated and put in, um, and put in those little boxes. But, um, my fancy floss, I don't have bobbinated, bobbinated yet. So I need to, you know, I don't want to bobbinate them necessarily, but, um, I need some, a better place to store them. I've got them in a box kind of like this, but it's smaller. And this is where my, this is my box of shame for my FFOs. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's just kind of like, eh, my goodness. I was like, it's going to be a short video. I don't have much to say, but I've been rambling for 20 minutes. I apologize, guys. Well, no, I don't apologize. Never mind. Anyway, <laughs> so worked on that. I'm going to be working more on broomstick fuel for enchanted stitches. I'm going for Royal on the, um, the challenges this week. And we've got the Destiny Hero which is a weapon, a feather, or, or a weapon that we would use for, um, what do you call it, to help, sorry, to help, um, Prince Philip. And what I'm working on, oops, is I'm going to do a feather because we can tickle. I mean, you get it's a it's an awesome little thing. And for magical or for um, Stiach, our team is doing a collaborative, and I was assigned the feather, so I'm going to be working on the feather to tickle. So I'm super excited. Um, work on that. 250 stitches I need to do on that. And then good versus evil, a barrier that I would use is plants. I'm going to work on wicked plant and then broken curse. What would wake up? The people would wake up. I was going to work on, um, what was I going to work on? Oh, the mystery peacock style. Cause I was like, yeah, birds would wake up, but no, I don't want to work it. And then my closest to finishing is technically my violet stocking, but, um, I know I'll finish that and, I want to be able to work a little bit longer on that. I don't know. Who knows? But I'm also going to work on Wicked Plant. So I'm going to work on both of those. And so that's plans for this weekend and plans to finish up Magical Stitch or Magical Stitches and Enchanted Stitches. So I'm going to move on to some purchases and haul. Um, on my Shannon Christine Koi Pond that I ordered, we have um, the bead pack came and they are so pretty. Like, oh no man down. So we have these really pretty Swarovskis. These gorgeous golds. These beautiful teal seed beads. I'm saving my favorites for last. I like those Swarovskis. I shouldn't have picked them up. Um, some clear with a silver lining it looks like. Um, these Swarovskis. Very pretty Halloween-y colors too. If you think about it. It's yellow or orange and purple. These fun shaped beads. And then these ones that are teal and they look like feathers. But I think those are going to be like fish scales. Those are so pretty. I'm so excited. So I'm going to put those in my koi pond mandala. I just have to find some fabric for it. And then we will be good to go to start that. Um, purchases, I went to, let's see here. Oh, when we were at, I went to the dollar store and picked up, we were looking for frames and I saw this over in the framing area and, okay, you're gonna see my mess behind you guys. Um, there's my, my doll, my, my, sewing dummy and a pattern that's been sitting there for a while and my setup that's my setup guys hey but um it's plastic but it is the perfect finish for a midnight ride so and I like how it's kind of antiquey 
and so I'm going to stitch Midnight Ride on a size that I can fit into this bad boy. Oh, it's a mess back there. Oh, there's my, my stitches that got saved. I'll have to grab it. Let me grab it really quick. But yes, now you have a insight into my teeny tiny messy craft room where I film my floss tubes. It needs more organization. However, that will come. But this is one of those and I think I've showed it on like one of my first floss tubes. But we have a friend down in Texas and she was at a local church rummage sale. And she's in, um, her name's Jackie. She saw this and sent, sent a message to Pat and said, do you think Sarah would want this? And Pat's like, sure, grab it. I mean, it's one of those Thomas Kincaid's enchanted, you know, yeah. It's like, of course, you know, and it's finished and it's done very, very well. Um, so it was like, yes, please. There's a little French knots in the corner. I mean, it was done very, very well. So that is my, my save the stitches experience that I didn't even save. Somebody else saved them for me. So I was the benefactor of somebody's generosity. So super exciting. But yes, so Midnight Ride, going to stitch that, finish it. And that is the plan when it will happen. Who knows? Um, and so yesterday was Shepherd's Bush down in Ogden. It was their 35th anniversary. It was their 35th birthday. So we ran down there, uh, my mom and Izzy and I, uh, just really quick. Izzy still needed to get a small for Stitch West to start. So she got that and is starting it. And um, they had homemade ice cream and it was mint chocolate chip ice cream and homemade little cakes. And little chocolate cakes and they there's a couple time very few very rarely do you get discounts at Shepherd's Bush and yesterday they were giving 10% off your tire purchase so had you know did, had to go and they were also giving everybody this cute little box and I took one of the things out to show you but it was a cute little box and in the box and it had a, it was wrapped up with a cute little ribbon like they do and in the box was this adorable little pattern. It's called Thanks a Flock. And it even has all of the finishing supplies and a needle and the chenille. I mean, everything to make that little pillow. So super excited to do that. Um, and then also inside this fun little box. Um, there were two of the gear of the Lindor truffles. Alice stole one. She does not abide by the uh, floss tube rule and then some needle artist lotion it says shepherd's bush birthday so i don't know what this smells like hang on we shall take a test Ooh, that smells really good but yeah that's what i got and then i also got a pair like i said i got a pair of q snaps um oh hold please i got the ornament edition so I'll flip through that really quick with you guys I actually like how they're doing it so there's these this is the works by ABC down here this one right there and then this one's actually a black work journey those with all ones so there's some really pretty fancy ones right there that one says blue Christmas is the title of that section And this is a deck the halls. I love this Ursula Michaels right here. This word, the wording, but it's a little cute little patchwork. Lots of fun. That's who they're by. I'm not gonna go like every single one, but point out kind of my favorites. And these ones are all Santa Claus. Here comes Santa Claus. Is what they call it. There's some really cute designs in here. And then this one's Holly Jolly Christmas. And Lolly, you're going to need this magazine. Because look right there. Is he not the most adorable flamingo? So Lolly right here. 
and then a little sheep guy, and then there's this a cat that I can't even with, and then the meowy or the cats love Christmas. That's a Lindy Stitches. This cats love Christmas. Um, the flamingo is Bobbin and Fred. Is the designer on that? Oh, and then this little cute cat right there with the ornament that he's probably broken and as cats do because cats are jerks but we love them and the magazine thing out and then this one is home for the holidays there's a dr seuss quote up there from the grinch I mean, it's, this is not a professional flip through, so, um, joy to the world. Oh, this Christmas joy stocking, or this star is adorable. And there's a stocking, Noel, this one's really pretty too. So, that one is Crafty Cat Designs, but yeah, the, um, this is Stitchy Fish Designs, like Christmas Joy. I like how the wording, the font is on that is really pretty. And then this is Let It Snow. This is a Frosted Pumpkin. And it's really funny because right, there's a smile right there, but this little part of the snowflake makes it look like he's got a frowny face, which is kind of funny. Um, this one has Hardanger on it, looks like. So, and then, And then, let's see what else we have. And this is Twas the Night Before Christmas. There's a pineapple with sunglasses. Um, bubble lights. Kind of funky trees. Gingerbread men. Lots of fun. And next is Winter Wonderland, so we've got some birds, some cardinals, and there's one, and there's one over here, actually that's a, it's a robin, sorry, well there's a robin down there, and then there's a, what's his name, a red, no, it just says red bird, but lots of birds, very cute, and then, yeah, this is the last, little section. Yep, that was the last little section. The rest is like, talks about recipes and memories, so it's really fun that they've got like different things like dips and um, soups and um, treats. Lots of fun stuff. So yeah, that's the Just Cross Stitch. There's some cute stuff in here. So it is, if you can see, if you can get it, grab it. It's got some cute stuff in it. So I think that's all I have. Um, plans, obviously, whatever Enchanted Stitches and Magical Stitches tells me to do. I want to kind of maybe get a start on Midnight Ride, see what I can do there. Um, but actually I want to start on that Koi Pond, that, that one I'm really excited for, and I think I haven't got that slated for extra credit. So, um, I think, I sing some, I'm a lot, but you know, it is what it is. It happens. It's life. We're fine. Everything's fine. Uh, hope you guys have a wonderful week. Nathan's got a track meet this week, or the cross country meet today, and um, little Alice is starting with her braces. We got spacers on Tuesday, spacers on Tuesday, and tomorrow she gets the the molds taken and everything. So, but she's she's a trooper. She called me Tuesday afternoon saying, "Hey, mom, can you bring me some Tylenol? I didn't want to go home." I'm proud of her. And then yesterday she calls like right before we went to Shepherd's Bush. Hey mom, can you send Todd with the Tylenol? Sure. So <laughs> she's doing really good. And she's like being very, cause they told her like, don't make, don't let the spacers come out. And <laughs> so she's being really careful. And so I'm really impressed with her. She's, she's doing really good. So, um, excited for this journey and there she is calling me. So I will sign off and we will talk to you later. Bye friends.